Good morning, everybody. I've been meaning to pick up my camera this morning, or literally for the last couple of days. Um, it is Tuesday. We are officially on Easter half term, and the kids are currently clay modelling. Clay modelling? Modelling clay? Air drying clay? Um, yeah, I think they're doing Easter themed. I'm not sure. But they're just cracking on. And I actually really want to do some myself. This is the stuff. Graham actually ordered it from Amazon. I did originally order it from Baker Ross, but for some reason they deducted it off my order. So I'm guessing it's out of stock on the Baker Ross website. But this is only five pounds, massive. It's a kilo, I think. Alistair's doing an Easter chick. Can you see it? The chick's gonna be up there. This is the egg. Is Miles not wanting to go down for a nap just yet? He's been up since half past five and it is currently half past eight. Yeah, yeah. Graham's literally just coming in and um, I'm gonna go in the gym for half an hour. He's coming for breakfast. I was hoping Miles would be down for a nap so then I could just go anyway, but yeah, never mind. It's not ready. Look, boy, look. Oh, that's cute. Is that his eyes? Yeah. Little feet for the bunnies. Love their tail. Right, I'm going to let the chickens out as well. I feel absolutely spoiled by this like lush weather we're having at the moment. I just don't want it to end, honestly. We're supposed to get like highs of 20 degrees this week. I mean, 20 just sounds a bit ridiculous in April. But I'll take it. I'm happy. I need some heat. Let all these chickens out. Let's see who comes out first. Here he comes. Come on in. Floods of them. Some of them are scared. Come on, girls. <laughs> Hello. Goldie. Gorgeous boy. Hey, what do you want? These ones. Right, gym done, baby's down. Uh, Graham got Miles down for a nap, which is great. Apparently, well, he was up for nearly four hours, so he was ready for a nap. Went down like a light. Um, <coughs> just had a quick rinse off. I only washed my hair yesterday, I don't like to overdo it. But um, I thought I'd show you my wardrobe. So I actually switched over my spring summer stuff yesterday. Just kind of got this urge where this weather's been so good. I've got this urge to kind of just lighten up my wardrobe because a lot of my stuff's quite dark. I don't know if anyone else does it, but I've always done this for years. It's just basically pack away my autumn winter clothes and then, you know, just switch over this through the seasons. Um, it kind of feels like you've got brand new clothes because you haven't seen them in such a long time, like a whole year. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you my wardrobe. It looks so much more colorful. Right, look at this. We've got dresses in there. Dresses don't fit that well just because I've got this drawer here. It's like a little, I love having this drawer, but it does mean that they kind of get a bit crumpled. So I end up having to iron a lot of dresses. Um, there's a few things in here that I wore when I was pregnant because they weren't maternity. I've kept them. I'm not sure if I will actually wear them because I wore this for my baby shower. You might even remember it. It's like a really oversized dress from Primark. It's a size 10. But I really love it and because it's got a tie, I might be able to get away with it through the summer, tie around the back. But I thought it'd even be quite a nice beach throw on. Um, I just generally really like it. I only wore it once. I bought this last summer from the next sale. It was like 10 quid. Um, and it actually fits now. But I love that. That's one thing that I bought while I was really heavily pregnant actually. But yeah, I've just pulled out my old faithfuls. My like shirts. This is like my Eastery shirt. That's what I call that. Um, my little kimono, it's my Jules kimono. Um, yeah, a lot of like light denim -y dresses. Uh, this is one of my favorite dresses I've had for years, also from Next. Also, I've got a massive bag of clothes. You know when you sort things out, you think, I haven't worn that in two years. I put it in my wardrobe like every year and I still never wear it. So I've got like a whole massive bag of clothes that I think I'm either gonna give to my sisters or take to a charity bin at some point. But yeah, it's so depressing, isn't it, getting rid of clothes? Because some of the pieces I love, and then some of the pieces are just 
just don't fit anymore. I'm I, this third time round, my body has changed quite a lot. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm only six months postpartum, so I'm still not where I was, if that makes sense, obviously. And I'm totally fine with that, but my hips are so much broader, like wider, and my my um this area, like around the chest, obviously, because I have a bigger bust, so much broader. Some of the tops just look ridiculous. Um, yeah, but I've kept a few things that I think, oh, I might I might be able to wear like even at the end of summer or next year. I've kept a few of my favourites. Okay. I've actually put proper clothes on today because I do plan on going to Morrison's. First time I ventured into a supermarket. I've only been to the local co-op once in nearly three weeks. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting. See what the actual supermarkets are like. But yeah, this is my outfit. I've got my Easter shirt on, which I love. I've got actually a, a breastfeeding top on. Ha These vests are really good because they've got like an extra lining. Um, and yeah it's kind of like a little cropped up underneath the vest and then obviously it clips as a nursing vest these are from H&M I would highly recommend them if you breastfeed they do them in packs and in different colors then I've just got my jeggings on and I'm actually going to paint my toes because I may even put some sandals on today this is the color that I'm going to go for it's the Rimmel 60 second um, lose your lingerie 203 and it's a really lovely kind of pearlescent pink literally one coat in and the baby wakes up can you hear him he's a cheeky little baby not long enough that's what i say <laughs> do you get you ready for the day sun's out Who's a cheeky monkey? 30 minutes. Not 30 minutes. You're gonna wear it today. Let's go out your clothes actually. Don't we? Why is room smaller than mine? Gotta put this washer on the line. Big brother's gonna entertain while I put this out. It's a colourful night, got red eyes, but it's all blue. Those colourful eyes, they don't... One thing I do want to do today, so one of my friend's friends gave me some like vests and baby grows. So I've kind of washed them and I've kind of put them aside and I think Miles is now ready for it. Um, these aren't massive, but they're kind of, they're definitely bigger than his own ones that he's got, even though they are, most of them are six to nine months, but they're six to nine months next and I definitely think they seem bigger than what he has. Um, these are actually the bigger ones. These ones are fine, but there's a few in here, like this one. This is a Primark, I believe, six to nine months. Yeah. And they're getting a bit too tight in the feet now. You can see it's not a massive amount, but it's surprising when it's on his feet definitely touch the end and it's just a little bit a bit much yeah that's the Sainsbury's which still fit and so actually I find it was so weird there I find that all their clothing strange in Sainsbury's because a lot of their cotton stuff like I think I mentioned a few weeks ago like some sets that I got the vests that came with them were just so tight like the, the cotton was just no stretch in it at all so I couldn't even get it on him but like these are really really soft and stretchy New trousers is out. It's only on the Sky Store at the moment. It's £16 to rent. Which, like, Graham was like, oh, that's really expensive. But then we kind of thought, well, because it's brand new and usually you'd watch it in the cinema, so actually it works out quite cheap and you're having to, obviously, you are obviously not watching it on a big screen and having the experience of a cinema, but £16 to take a family of four out um, to the cinema is not even possible. You know, if you want a good recliner seat, you pay like a good 10 to 13 pounds um, in Bournemouth anyway, in the Odeon. So, yeah, 16 pounds to rent is actually not too bad. I really want to see it. Right, that still fits him. I don't know how long I'm going to use that for. It's more of a backup thing. 
that's just too small now. That was also a hand me down. It's just too tight. Uh, these are the ones that I got from Sainsbury's half price. They were five pounds for the pack of three. So these are the nine to twelve months. Can you just see how long they are? I mean, I suppose you look at them, you think, yeah, actually, a probably a year old would fit in there quite well. I think if I gave them a wash, they would probably shrink down anyway. But I really like those. So we've got those. I managed to get him another. This is more of a lightweight tog. Oh, this is a 1.5 tog. This is from M&S. He's already got one from M&S in the 2.5, but this is 18 to 36 months. I got this one he can wear. I got that from, this is only £5.99 from TK Maxx, but it's like their branded stuff. Organic cotton Petit Lem. Very cute little, it's a zipper as well, which is really nice. Probably should wear that before he outgrows it. Might put that in the... Draw. Love that one. <gasps> They're cute. It's like you can see, it's like cute rainbows. These are things to grow into. Although I think he's probably pretty much there. So this is the nine to twelve months. This is in the sale from M and S. Little jumper. Got these from the Little Pickles Market for two pounds for a pack of three nine to twelve month leggings. The little cats. Actually, no, it's pack of four. How cute are those? Little cats and then two lots of stripe in there. And then these are also... Where are you going? Also from M&S sale for £5 for a pack of two. I can never really fit you in here, actually. Should we sit you up? He has a couple of little outfits that he's still in at the moment. So this one's the same for his one. It's like a little doggy. Um, it's kind of like a little soft knit. And then this one is one from same, um, Tesco. This is a 9 to 12 months, it doesn't look actually that big really, but I got this in the sale. I've got a couple of items actually um, put away that I need to pull out because I think he'll probably be in them now. This one I got from the sale, this is also, I think this is 9 to 12 months M&S. This was down to 5 99 from £12. This little hooded those colorful eyes they don't shine like they used to the city don't want us babe we want to survive this place the city don't want us the city don't want me and if i would lie and stay it wouldn't feel the same i won't lie it doesn't feel like home. Okay, so this is my bag of like previously bought stuff that are in bigger sizes. However, because my baby is bigger, <laughs> um, some of this stuff is literally gonna fit very, very soon. I got this little outfit from Next. Like I did like a, I found a few things online, but I also found things in store as well. What's this? Nine to twelve months. This little short and top set i think it's just like five quid or something super cute for summer this little number this is also nine to twelve months um i love this one as well violet chose this one this was what's it four pounds sharks um yeah so he's pretty much set for summer unless he outgrows all this stuff before we get some proper hot weather because i'll be devastated if that happens because you just don't know again i got him a little um this is actually 12 to 18 months this was also obviously everything's in the sale i never buy anything full price um i got this from h&m which i love i just kind of pictured him toddling in this one five pounds 12 to 18 months this is actually a lot bigger i can imagine him like toddling with this little romper on how cute is that Got some gorgeous bits. It wouldn't feel the same. I won't lie. I, no, honestly, it doesn't feel like home. Like home. home. Feel like home. 
Right, I'm done. So, yeah, he's got some shorts at the back to grow into. It's little leggings there. Are little, those little trousers are 9 to 12 month h but they are quite big. It's a little high um, UV uh, sun thing to grow into. One T-shirt, three long sleeves, long sleeve vests that I've just left because they still fit him. And then I've added a couple of leggings in there that, that can grow into, nearly fit into. Some summery bits that he's not into yet. Leggings to grow into couple of outfits that he already wears same jackets whatever and this is the pile to go and then this is stuff to grow into 12 to 12 months plus just a couple of Christmassy bits in there as well all done yeah right it's that time in the morning needing a coffee Mars has got a banana I've got banana chocolate chip loaf and that is my oat latte Right, I'm just putting some chicken breasts in the oven for dinner tonight using the chicken, paprika and onion seasoning. I'm just going to put some foil over and I just cook it on kind of about 160 for the few hours. He's awake. Look, this is another thing that I got in the next sale from last summer. Some little hats, a couple of little hats. They've not got the string around the neck, you know when they have them you can tie under their neck? So I don't know how well it's going to stay on, but six to 12 months fits. Before he woke up, I was literally just pottering about in the gym, just sorting things out. It's been an absolute mess. He was asleep, 45 minutes. Ah, oh, look at your little sun hat. <laughs> it's so cute, isn't it? I was just going to hoover the gym. And yeah, sorting out my gym. It's an absolute state, realistically. Um, there's a lot of stuff stored at the back as well but um it's better than what it was i'm just going to give it a quick hoover i moved the spin bike over here with the treadmill um because it was literally there and just kind of in the way and i've got some more kind of room uh graham's got his project from last year's wood in here as well as he's got a door <laughs> he scared him um yeah i just need to give it a really good hoover munchie's yeah, first time in my gym as a baby and not in my belly yeah. <sighs> giving it a good heaver so it's a lot better Graham put some fresh water in um, and he left the cover off so now it's got some little tiny little bugs in so Violet's desperate to get them out I've just put Miles here he can't actually walk in the walker he just sits in it you alright? I'm going to tidy up this area because it'd be nice to actually use the patio. Right, it's going to get until Graham comes back. We can spray it all down. <sighs> look how rubbish my baskets look, hey? Don't know if I'll get them filled anytime soon. But these all need spraying off. I am missing some because some got wrecked in the crazy windy weather that we had a few months back. Um, yeah. Bad. I mean ideally I didn't really want that right there but because he's already filled it up I would have preferred it maybe a bit more we could have even we could have even swapped them over put the seating area this side put that butting up against because it's the electrics going through that window all right lunch time we got loads of leftovers what we got that was last night's cottage pie cottage pie from last night eggs we've got Graham's made sausage rolls, we've got some fruit, broccoli, that's Miles' dinner actually, that is dinner for him later. Okay, oh, he's got the honey ones. So yeah, we're having a bit of a leftover feast. Miles has got a mixture of all sorts here. Sweet potato, sweet corn fritter thingy, spinach muffin. As you can see, Miles had a field day. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> just finishing off with a little bit of melon yes bye it's blood ah oh, juices all the berry juices we have that moment of like can I remember how to drive it's been like well so this is only the second time I've actually driven in three weeks I'm used to like driving god knows how many times a day. Oh, actually. Oh yeah! Sunshine! I'll tell you what though. I, oh. 
I do feel really uneasy, slightly naughty going out. I felt like that when I was in the co-op. I was just, you know, buying the essentials. I needed to go out. It's the first time being out in like two weeks. But I felt like I shouldn't be there. Like I was going to get told off. Like, because all you ever see on the um, news or whatever, it's like, stay home, stay at home. No one go out. And, um, <coughs> yeah, and it just felt weird even just driving around because it's just literally like the walking dead without the zombies this is one thing i've missed like alone time loud music thinking time i do a lot of thinking when i'm driving okay i'm back miles is asleep because graham just put him down about 20 minutes ago um, i'm going to show you what i got um it wasn't too bad in there actually it felt quite normal um it was quite busy like i queued for about 20 minutes just to get in um yeah there was loads of things obviously out of stock that i just couldn't get or i've just got bit drips and drabs of like random extra like random bits that i wouldn't usually choose if that makes sense they're kind of what i wanted but not usually what i would buy like brand wise um most of our fruit and veg as you know comes tomorrow we get it from the greengrocer just locally down in the little town um but yeah, this basically stock is stuff that is going to last us now that I won't, I probably won't go back to Morrison's for about two, two and a half weeks again. So there wasn't a massive amount of yogurts to choose from. So I got these for the children. Um, I thought they would quite like them. They're kind of those little half yogurt, half like fruit puree, the other side, uh, little pot thingies. Um, there's three strawberry, three peach and apricot, and they were two pounds. I got two lots of Greek style yogurt been loving this at the moment miles also loves this and they only 80p a pop so i've got two of those the life the shelf life or fridge life is the 26th of april as well so it's going to last a long time i got salsa and sour cream need that for dinner tonight that was two for a pound or two for two pounds can't remember um the gnocchi bolognese is two for 250 one will be used for this week one's going in the freezer the quiche lorraines were all reduced so I got two of those. Again, you can freeze these. So I'm gonna use one for tomorrow for lunch and one to go in the freezer. Um, garlic baguettes. Um, I haven't tried, or we haven't tried either of these breads. There was very limited on bread, basically. So I, they, I just thought these actually looked really, really nice. So we got the sunflower and pumpkin seed loaf, um, and then the oat and barley loaf. One, again, is gonna go in the freezer and one we're gonna use this week. Um, some croissants they were is it four yeah four for a pound in there from the bakery section and then i got some mild cheddar some pepperami minis some um i did get a couple of fresh bits and this is because um from the green grocer there's a few things that they're really limited on at the moment or the quality has been really bad so i got baby spinach that's been really hard to get hold of uh cucumber um, it's been going bad really quickly as well and then the peppers the last peppers that I got were like this big They're ridiculously tiny. So I got a pack of those. I got some baby leaf salad Caesar salad and some avocados um, I got some carrots. These were down to 50p. We use a lot of carrots um, Some sandwich ham some onions. It's another thing that I couldn't get hold of from the green grocer and then pastas so these are literally all I could find. Um, they only had the whole wheat for silly, this brand, just the box. So I got those. And then I also got this one, which is actually really nice. This style pasta. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't really say what it is, but it is really, really tasty. And then I really wanted some macaroni, and they only had the free from stuff. This was actually down to 60p, it was half price. So I ended up getting that, and hopefully, we're not going to tell the difference it being free from, I think it's gluten free. Yeah, it's gluten free. Um, again, I wanted some oats. These were down, um, I think this was down to 60p as well for a big pack. So I got that. Breadcrumbs, I couldn't get breadcrumbs like normally, but I got, I found the free from ones as well. So hopefully, again, it, it, they probably won't taste any different, but I wanna do some thing with chicken, make some my own little chicken things this week. Uh, two lots of butter, they were 78p each. Smoked paprika and chicken seasoning, I needed some of that. And then crushed garlic, again needed that. 
some mini breadsticks and sesame seed breadsticks. Been loving that with homemade hummus lately. The sweet corn, got four tins of that. I think that was two pounds. Some spray cream, some mayonnaise. Got some ice creams, because um, this has been really nice. Um, so I got six pack of the toffee ones and then I thought we could try the boost ones. They were two pounds for four. Um, some oat milk, two lots of that. I haven't tried the Morrison's own brand, but they were a pound a pack. Some dark sweet cherries that are frozen. And then I thought I would try the naturally wonky berries, blackberries, strawberries, blackcurrants and raspberries. This kilo was about three pounds 50. Um, and it looks really good. So that's again in the freezer. Two lots of baby wipes. I think they were 56p a pack. Some chamomile tea. I actually really couldn't find my usual sleep tea. So I just thought I'd get that because I love chamomile tea. Digestive biscuits. They were 150 for a two pack. Fun size Twixes were also on offer. The Oreos were 50p each. I got the double up ones. And then the, I thought the kids would love the mint flavor because they've never tried those. Instant chicken noodles. We, they had these last week and originally I bought them from b and I think but um, they have them in Morrison's as well so I thought I'd get them. Sweet chilli multi-grain waves, these are the crisps, they were a pound and they were £1.25. I got two more Easter eggs so they were 75p each and then lastly some of my coffees. These are both a pound cheaper than a Cardo. I paid £2.50 a box from a Cardo. They're £1.50 in Morrison's. So the coconut latte and the oat latte. So that is my haul. Right, we are heading out on a little walk. <laughs> Alistair's already out on his bike, so we'll probably find him, won't we? nearly four o'clock and we haven't had a walk today at least obviously i've been walking around the supermarket but i mean the kids have been out anyway but we usually you know you, when, when you get set into your routine it just feels weird and the time's actually gone really quick today it's a bit rusty isn't it is that your brakes oh no it's just squeaking we popped all the piglets together now you can see they were draining their mums because they're so big. Can you see the mouse? Can you see the pigs? <gasps> Hello. Hey little buns. <laughs> right, I'm gonna pull up dinner, okay? Getting it's like quarter five. We had a nice long, long walk. Oh, I can now. It's been a long day. It's gone really fast, but I just feel absolutely zonked. Um, we're having chicken wraps tonight, so I put those chicken in the oven earlier. They're in the fridge now. Um, I've got wraps, avocados. I've got sour cream salsa, which you saw in my food delivery. I'm just going to cut up loads of those fresh veggies. Right, so this is dinner. We've got extra wraps, more wraps, chicken, cheese, salad. Miles has got like a leftover mixture, broccoli. He'll probably have some of that as well. Oh, okay, that broccoli's on the floor. Good job. Um, Classic mole and some extras. We have like, is that This is a pizza. Mm. <laughs> Is that nice? Mm -hmm. oh. Look, this is a pizza. <laughs> Disgusting. Not sure about that. Oh my God, why that looks delicious. Oh, I love the mushrooms. Anybody you want to come and clean my floor? I literally mopped this floor last night. And look, I literally <laughs> stepped down and went splat right into something. So that's taking my sock off. He's eating loads though, even though it looks like he's ditched his broccoli. I think I've been overfeeding him broccoli, he's just over it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you go Do you not like broccoli, Graham? Is it a problem? <laughs> just because I love broccoli. Oh. Okay. oh. Me and Graham may be diving into our very first Easter egg of this year, having half each. 
This is one of the um, ones that are 75p. Well, they do them at the moment in Morrison's two for 150. Watching the Celebrity Bake Off. Miles has been in bed since quarter to seven. I've just been on the computer, Graham's a bit busy. And the kids have literally just gone to bed. And we're gonna have a little feast. <laughs> right, we're off to bed, Miles. Literally, I've just fed him. Woke up at half past nine, first feed of the night. So it's best just to get to bed now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have. Stay safe. Stay well, enjoy the sunshine, and I will see you in my next video.